Hi guys, JJ here. Today we're gonna see one of my favorite all-time tricks because when I made my first video um, for, you know, Ken Hill's YouTube, uh, in the comments someone asked like, you know, give me a tutorial about a zero-gravity finger trick. Well, this is one and it's really, I think it's the coolest of the back and the best thing about it, it's also the easiest of them all. So this is a trick. All right, so now I did it a more diagonal. So diagonal, I think it's even better. You know, we could do it really zero gravity, where it feels or looks like that the forces of gravity, you know, are not applied when we do this trick. Okay, some things maybe you gotta understand first, uh, because this is not the, let's say, the starter trick for Digitrix. Uh, and most people, when they do Digitrix, um, they tend to be also very good at thumb rolls, which is part, part of course, of finger tricks, Digitrix. And, you know, thumb rolls seem to be really the easiest. I would suggest, um, let's say, you know, if you want to learn this trick, because this trick is actually a combination of two tricks. So the first trick, as I was saying, is of the classic thumb roll. So it's just a vertical thumb roll. You spin, 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 you jump in, you push forward. So you, you have tendency to, you know, to go like this, you know, to like pour in a glass of milk. But actually, you're going to push to the outside. Um, and then you will end up after a 540 spin in the negative grip, as I call it. And then, you know, you get back to the positive grip with a small touch to the stick. Or, you know, just roll it, bounce back, for example. But for this one, it's a little bit different. And actually, it is easier. That's also the feedback I get from my students at the JJ Academy, or those who have learned this trick in the past from me. Um, because what we're going to do here is actually it's two steps. And the first one is like, mm, yeah, okay, makes sense. But the second one, there is a little bit of a secret. So I'm really glad I can give you this tutorial because it's, you know, yeah, as I said, as I said before, it's really, it's one of my, my all time favorite tricks. Uh, if someone would come to me like, show me what you can with that nunchaku, I would show this one for sure. All right. So here is the first step. The first step is really, um, the, it's in the element of the dynamics. Okay. So we swing. So, so this is, by the way, you know, this is, as you know, the, the hand with my tattoo, you know, I always say it like that to my students as well. That's my dominant hand. That's my right hand. So we start from the right and we swing it. You know, you, you just start, you start like this. You make a natural swing, you know, natural swing like this. But actually, you know, yeah. So you could do it diagonal or you could do it zero gravity. It's actually the same thing is just the same. Okay, so you start from here and then you go like this and somewhere to the middle. So to the center, all right? You know, put yourself, you know, you can't see it, but you know, I put my legs a little bit open, you know, a little bit of karate stance. Do it like this, you know, turning your body to the back as well, and then come to this center point. All right, how do I hold my chuck? As you know me, I go for the positive grip, you know, of course, the positive grip, but I also go to that screwdriver stance, you know, my preferred stance, but you could perfectly hold it like this as well. Okay, so do it like this. If you would have any troubles, releasing the nunchaku and getting the rope spinning around your thumb because it's gonna go quiet automatic because of the stuff we're gonna do. You'll see it directly. You know, you could also try because you are the tool as well. You know, I say that always I, to my students as well. So I have a few methods to learn fast, you know, this and that. I can talk hours about it, which I'm not gonna do right now. But one thing for sure is you are the tool. That means that tricks who work for me uh, will not also automatically work the same way for you. We, have, we could have different mechanics. I had one student who had a thumb who was half his mind and also with a little, you know, he had a little bow in it. It was really strange. It was not like, you know, but, and he said like, you know, I figured out that it's different for me and he was right, you know, and he did a 900 spin, for example. And that was cool. That was fine. We, we, he figured it out. I said like, yeah, it's true. And you know, so what it is, um, everyone is different. So, you know, try to adjust, adapt the way it works for you. So I would say start really close to the rope. But if you could hold it maybe more like this, if you have like a longer chain, here we go again. So you have a longer connector or and a chain, you know, it's harder, it's true. Um, you know, make sure to try it like this or really, really, really at the knock of it. Okay, so here we go. We go to the back and then we swing forward. We swing and we really open our hands like this. I will show it from the side. You really, so you go from here, open. It will go normally for everyone with a 540 spin, so one and a half spin around your thumb, and then here's the moment you need to catch a stick again in the negative grip. Okay, so I'll show it a few times in a row. Zero gravity. 
So as I was saying in the beginning, and just thinking about it, it is a combination actually of the classic temporal, but also the zero gravity aerial. You know, the zero gravity aerial. Maybe there's a point in time where I will show you this trick, because it's quite cool. You can also do it with a 360 variety where you spin while you catch it. Really cool. But this trick, the zero gravity temporal is really, you know, it's super hot. It works also with doubles where you go like this, this, and then you're like, double strike here, take it back, you know. Everything is possible, you know, so it's a trick, it's usable for singles. As for doubles, it's always impressive. You can also do it like really low, catch it here, you know, go like this, you know. So, for example, you can use it, as I always say, use a variation if you're able to do this trick. All right, first part, go from here, stop in the middle, so you're gonna make speed. It doesn't have to be a lot of speed, but you will see that there is a perfect way for you. And in the beginning, that might be a lot of speed or just low speed. What it is with lower speed, you can try to control with those parts, you know, in between your fingers, you know, that little cracks, let's say. You can really give a little touch of that, okay? So I, I mostly give a lot of speed because I think the trick looks quite cooler. Let's see. I also like it more, a little bit more diagonal because it seems like you strike a little bit like that. But it's the same technique. So go from here, stop somewhere in the middle, open your hand, 540 spin catch. It's really, I wish I could say there is another thing, um, you know, or another way to pull this off more easy, but when it comes to the dynamics, the mechanics of your arm, it's this. Just like that, swing it, release here, the chucks will keep on spinning, you stop brutally, open your hand, you know, hold your thumb a little bit like this, feels, if you feel like you have some, 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 something to say in the movement with your thumb, that can be. I don't really feel it, maybe it's because I do the trick for too long already, uh, but use it, all right? Play in on that. And as for all, if you try this trick, you really want to have this one, by the way. Try it 10, 15 minutes, day after day after day. Try it for a week, two weeks. You will nail it, all right? I promise. Now, I said like there's nothing really that can help. There is, because that's a second step. And it's really, it's more or less, a, it's not like a secret, but it's the way to pull this trick off more fast. And it is, you may be it already, Right before you're gonna release somewhere at this point, I, I, I pull my, air, my arm, I pull my arm upwards about 10, 20 centimeters. That will help me to get that fight. What, what it is, the nunchaku will go this way, like, oh, you're gonna pull me to the middle, and then I go upwards. It's like, oh, you're gonna pull me upwards. And when you do the spin, which takes around 0.7 to one second, it will be enough to create that upward force that it will not just directly uh, go down. So that means you create a visual effect that indeed the, the gravity is not there, you see? You understand what I mean? So by, you know, by going upwards, you can perfectly, when it rolls, hold it like this, because it just had that upward kick, and then it will do the 540 spin perfectly at that same position. I can really hold my hand like this, and the nunchaku will not drop, as you can see, you see? So that creates, like, you know, it's a little bit of magic here, okay? So, you know, actually two easy steps. One is go like this, make some speed, you know, release it here, so pull your hand maybe a little more inwards so that you're already ready for the roll. And then there comes this part, you know, finger pitching a fool. I already said that. I can explain this for hours and hours, but at a certain point you need to have a little bit of that feeling. That's why I told you, you know, to try to go for the basic aerial first, uh, the basic thumb roll first, so you know what it feels like when a nunchaku or when a rope or a chain spins around your, around your thumb. Okay. And then right before you release it, maybe it's a little bit subtle, I don't know, I will show it from the side. You know, I, you know, I master it so hard that I don't need that upward skate. You know, when I want to be very sure, in a live tournament, for example, I would really, oh, I'm sorry, I would really push it forward, push it upwards, right before you're going to release. And you will see, you will have that feeling when you try to train days after days after days, all right? You will catch that vibe of nailing this trick. And I repeat it, this is really a trick you want to have. It brings you to the next level. Plus, it opens all of doors on other tricks that you could use later on. All right? So I would say good luck with this one. Um, zero gravity tumbrel. It's really a trick to have. All right? Bye, guys.